Hello Wayne Township residents. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on issue 21, Fire Law. I am Trustee Andrew Jacobs. I'm Trustee Diana Coleman. I'm Trustee Bradley Hoffman. And I'm Fire Chief Jason Beckett. My name is uh, Firefighter EMT Keegan Campbell, and behind me we have our 2022 Lifeline Ford F550 ambulance. Uh, we purchased this in 2022, and this is our newest ambulance on the line. Uh, can we show them? Yeah. Show them around. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's like a typical truck inside. Um, uh, so this is the uh, front of the cab. Um, a lot of this is electronic now, and um, all of our lights are controlled off that little panel right there. And the tablet you see is our CAD system. Um, all of our calls come through there, and we can get routing, uh, directions, everything off of that, and updates on calls. And then we'll go ahead and move to the back. Um, so this is the back of our ambulance. Um, as you've seen before, we have our striker power load cots in both ambulances, which is absolutely great on um, people that go on calls. Uh, saves a lot of injuries, like previously stated. Um, we've got our monitor up there, uh, Life Pack 15s. We purchased in 2020, I believe. And um, other than that, it's laid out pretty much like every other ambulance. In 2022, the cost of the purchase of this vehicle was $275,000, and that's without the equipment. Add in the equipment is probably another $50,000. All right, so behind me, I have our 2019 Wheeled Coach F450. Uh, this is typically our second line ambulance in, in the line. Uh, Layout's a little different, but typically about the same. Um, because this is the F450, it's a little smaller in the cab. Uh, we have our typical uh, CAD system, just like in the other ambulance, and our lights are controlled by switches. Um, pretty simple, nothing crazy. And then the back of the ambulance. Once again, we have our striker power load, uh, just like the other ambulance, and life pack 15. And that's, that's pretty much it. In 2019, the cost of the purchase of this unit was $220,000 without the equipment. Same as our other ambulance, about $50,000 with equipment. All right, so behind me I have our 2010 Seagrave uh, pumper. It is a Marauder. Um, Marauder, right? Yep, Marauder. Cab. And uh, show you a little look inside the cab. Uh, this was purchased in 2010 as well. How many people can fit in this? Um, it, five people could fit in this. Um, typically, you don't have five people, so typically it's about four or three. Right. And then we have, uh, we also have EMS supplies on this truck as well, uh, just in case we need to use them. If we don't have a squad crew, we can use this. And then um, here we have the pump panel. So both of our engines are 1,500 gallon per minute pumps. Uh, 750 gallon tanks and uh, this is basically the pump panel uh, all these valves will control a different discharge or intake um, pretty simple how many feet of hose is on this um, so we have a 200 foot uh, two and a half and then 150 foot inch and three quarter line on here and then on the back I believe there's 850 feet of, no, thousand, sorry, thousand feet 
of LDH hose. Um, basically, what we will use to hook up to the hydrant to get hose or get water into the truck. Okay. Um, and then we also have a lot of various other loads on here. Uh, we have a two and a half load on off the back that is a long lay line that we can use for a long driveway lay or whatever. Um, yeah. Right. In 2010, the cost of the purchase of this vehicle without any of the equipment was $460,000. Added another $100,000 for equipment, including hose and air packs. So behind me, I have our newest addition to the fleet. Uh, this is a 2023 Seagrave Marauder. Um, same, same line as the second out engine. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you around a little bit. So, like the squad, a lot of the stuff now has moved to elect electric. So you have your typical switches and uh, your, your dash lights are all electronic now as well. And this truck seats six, or five, my apologies. Just like the other one. And then we also have EMS equipment on this truck as well. And then just like the other second out engine, this is also a 1500 GPM pump with a 750 gallon tank. Um, and basically we have to go through driver's training to drive this truck and operate it properly. Uh, this truck is 45,000 pounds. So to go through the driver's training, you have to ensure that individuals can get to the scene properly and safely and also operate the truck properly because this is a very expensive truck and you don't want to damage it. And you also need to get to the scene safe so you, that you can provide assistance to the residents. And just like the, the other truck, we have a thousand gallon or a thousand feet of LDH off the back uh, for water supply and various other loads. And actually on this truck, if we come to the other side, uh, we actually have a blitz line off of this truck that is used for defensive fires that, is, that we don't have on that truck. So this is basically off of a, a two and a half inch hose and this will provide a lot of water uh, to uh, put water on the fire. Basically a large volume of water comes out of this hose. So um, basically laid out the same as the other truck, just a little slight differences. In 2023, the cost of this fire apparatus was $700,000. With the equipment, it's another $125,000 because as Keegan mentioned, there's some different equipment on this one that raises the price. We have. Uh, battery powered hydraulic tools on this this vehicle that increases the cost a little bit. So behind me I have our 1997 international tankers. Uh, these tankers hold 2,000 gallons of water and they're both identical. They were purchased at the same time. Uh, these provide water for unhydrogen areas of the township and uh, they're pretty much laid out the same. Uh, these do not have pumps, so we cannot pump off of these. And like I said, these are pretty much just water, water shuttle trucks uh, to provide water in our hydrogen areas. Ninety-seven. Yeah. In 1997, the combined cost of these two tanker trucks was $200,000 about a hundred thousand dollars for each. So behind me I have our UTV. Um, this is utilized a lot during sauerkraut festival and uh, we also border part of Caesars Creek district so we use that for a lot of those trails out there where we can't get our ambulance or other truck in to access patients. And uh, this is also utilized for the football games. Uh, we provide uh, coverage for the football games, and this is utilized if an injury happens on the field, we can access the patient. Uh, and this truck was donated from the Lebanon Eagles, and the 
uh, Wayne Township Fire Department Incorporated Association uh, paid partial for this as well. Uh, so behind me I have our 2007 uh, brush truck. It is an F450. This is utilized for uh, obviously brush fires in fields. Um, you obviously can't take the heavy trucks into the field and this is a lot more mobile. Uh, we have a pump off the back. It, it's a low GPM pump. I don't know exact number, numbers, but uh, we also use this to tow the UTV a lot as well. Uh, and this is also used for a lot of utility stuff um, and uh, obviously brush fires as well. In 2007, the cost for this unit was $57,000. Uh, comparable replacement today would probably be closer to $90,000. My name's Allie Brown. Um, I'm a firefighter EMT here at Wayne Township Fire Department. Um, this is our gear room. This is where we keep all of our bunker gear, um, our PPE. So we have coat, boots, pants, helmet, gloves, hood, and that full set would be about $4,500. Um, we wear this into fires, um, on car accidents, um, just to keep us protected. So from all the trustees here and the fire chief, we'd like to say thank you very much for taking your time out of your busy day to review our videos. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.